If you've been enjoying watching Rainer massage videos, then I'd encourage you to think about taking our online course. It's designed for people that want to help family and friends or to add to a career that's already existing or to start a new career. We have in-person seminars that accompany these. Um, if we have six or more people in an area that have done a course, then done the online course, then we're happy to come out and do an in-person seminar as well to enhance that opportunity to learn. So the online course has 51 lessons in it, seven of which are available for a free preview. Uh, it covers everything from the theory behind Rainer Massage to intense practical techniques in order to find and get rid of tension. So it's a very comprehensive course. Um, it's, it covers things like professionalism, hygiene, contraindications, all the stuff you need to know before you actually get your hands on people. Then it covers different techniques to find and eliminate residual tension in the body. We cover the different bands. We have a bands poster that's also included in the course of the, the price of the course. Um, we show you how to find those bands, how to work them, how to use different massage tools, um, how to work with the breath, uh, how to work with people having emotional releases. It's a very, very comprehensive course. I'm very proud of it. It's taken several years uh, to make. Um, and we put a lot of our heart and soul into it and a lot of our techniques and experience and everything to try and help you to become a better therapist and to be able to help more people basically. Okay. You can also use it for self-massage. A lot of the techniques there are very, very useful to work on yourself as well. Rainer Massage is one of the foremost styles of massage in the world that's designed to get rid of every bit of what I call residual tension in the body. Any tension in the muscles that's there when it shouldn't be. Uh, and we look at getting it right to the source. So somebody could have tightness in their neck or tightness in their shoulders, but we trace it down to its source, which could be in the fingers, could be in the toes, and we work along bands of tension uh, and free the body up. Not just the body, but the mind. So Rainer Massage, follows more of an Eastern philosophy from Ayurveda and Chinese medicine, as well as Hawaiian and most traditional medicines actually believe that we are a spirit or a soul or a life energy. Uh, and then under or over that, I should say, we have different elements. So we have more gross elements. We have our mind and then our physical body and, you know, earth, water, fire, air, ether, uh, as they talk about in Chinese medicine. And, Ayurvedic medicine, metal, and these different elements. So the, basically what um, we're looking at is how the body becomes tight. Uh, because the goal of Rainer massage and most therapeutic styles of massage is to find and get rid of tension. It's not just about having a nice experience. That's so we call it sensual massage. Sensual massage is just feels nice while you get it. That's really nothing to do with what we're trying to do. We're not trying to make it feel nice while people get it. We're trying to find and get rid of residual tension that causes people health problems. So Rainer Massage is, we call it Rainer Naturopathic Massage actually because it is a holistic style of massage. It's a style designed to find and get rid of that tension that's causing so many people so many problems. All right, so Western medicine is often just masking a lot of those problems. They're either performing surgery, you know, different knee surgeries, shoulder, shoulder surgeries, or all sorts of different surgeries, or they're giving people drugs to um, anesthetize the pain that they're experiencing from this muscle tension. Because muscle tension pulls bones out of place, and it puts pressure on certain bones by not, by not having that elasticity in the muscles. It also affects the lymphatic system, so we, our lymph system doesn't clear out toxins as well. It affects our blood flow, it affects the nerves, uh, and it affects our digestive system because a lot of uh, the digestive system is musculature, like the small and large intestine. And a lot of that is controlled by the subconscious part of the brain. When we have tension in our subconscious, then it can make our, our intestinal muscles become tight and then this can cause digestive system problems. So there's a whole, bit, uh, there's a whole um, you know, field called psychosomatic medicine, basically the, how the mind and the body effect, are affected. 
And that's particularly true with a lot of digestive disorders. So a lot of people will say, you know, stress or anxiety gave me butterflies in my stomach, or it made me not, it gave me a knot in my stomach. Um, yeah, these kinds of things are common in, in English. Um, even things like jaw tension can be related to stress and emotion. So, Rainer massage is very holistic, as is Chinese medicine, as is Ayurvedic medicine, as is Japanese shiatsu massage. And we try and get to the root cause of the problem. So even though we're working on the physical through these bands of tension, we're respecting the fact that the person is a spiritual being and they have emotions. Okay? And this is where it's quite different than some forms of massage that really emphasize the musculature of the body. This is a, you know, just learning Latin names for muscles and things, which is fine if that's what you want to do. Nothing wrong with Latin or Sanskrit or Chinese or Thai names for muscles, whichever culture you come from. However, there's a lot more to a person than just muscles and Latin names. Um, there's the real person there with their feelings and different things that have caused them to become tight. So Rainer Massage works with the breath and with finding these bands of tension at getting rid of what caused the tension in the first place because often there can be emotions associated with tension. Not always. Sometimes people can just get tight from physical reasons. You know, a jackhammer operator or a truck driver or a physical laborer or a sports person is going to become tight from physical reasons. But many people become tight from mental or emotional reasons. <clears throat> whereby some form of stress has caused them to become tight and they have emotions in there. So Rainer Massage deals with that as well and looks at getting rid of that so you feel more clear in your spirit. So this integration of the mind, body, spirit is actually what the goal of Rainer Massage is and that's why I call it Rainer Naturopathic Massage and I'm a naturopath by profession as well as having done my degrees in Shiatsu and Chinese herbal medicine and Ayurvedic medicine, remedial massage, Thai massage. I had a lot of experience traveling around the world, learning different healing styles. So at the core of it to me is the integration of the mind, body, and spirit so that the eyes can shine forth, the eyes of the windows of the soul, as they say, and you want to have it where you're completely integrated between your mind, body, and soul. And uh, that's why I also uh, love things like flower essences, which are the, the, uh, Dr. Bach came up with a, a way to get rid of imbalances. Um, in the, what you could call emotional body or, or, or more subtle body. Um, <clears throat> we have a course in that as well, so I'll put a link in the bottom to a, a course about that. But to me that's what naturopathy is all about. It's about reintegration of us getting back to our natural self, okay, so that we're in harmony with the nature around us. Um, but most important with our own nature. Okay, so that's, and that's also the goal of Ayurvedic medicine and, and Chinese medicine and different things. Most traditional medicine, they recognize that mind, body, spirit aspect and then integration of the spirit with the supreme spirit or with other, the spirit around us. So a lot of traditional medicines are, are, are about that. So it comes down to then <coughs> treating by, by getting us aligned back with who we are, we treat a lot of mental health problems. We treat a lot of anxiety, we treat depression, we treat, um, you know, just that, that feeling of, of not knowing what you're doing with your life or um, not having any purpose or what they say in French, uh, the, the joie de vivre, the joy of life. Um, all of that can be treated with both massage and and other flower remedies and things like that as well, as well as having a, a natural diet. So we, we have a whole food nutrition course too that we have online um, and that teaches you how to have a healthy diet that's really back again, getting back to your own nature and integrating aspects of Ayurvedic medicine and talking about what they call the gunas, the sattva, rajas and tamas or purity, which is like sattva or goodness uh, and uh, you know, Rajas, which is passion, and Thomas, which is ignorance. But there's a whole lot to it, and that's, a, that's an ancient system of medicine, of course, the most ancient in the world. But having a whole food diet is a really important aspect of good health as well. So, you know, at, at, at my school, that's what we're trying to integrate, those, that importance of that mind-body-spirit integration, and a feeling in tune with who you are, and not carrying 
baggage, what we call baggage, you know, old angers or old sadnesses or just lack of self-esteem that inhibits you from following your true life path or what we call dharma. All of these kind of things can also be affected by massage. So Rainer massage goes into a whole lot of stuff, which is really, really nice. And then when you add these other forms of therapy too, it can just integrate a person and, and make it that life's worth living again. Like, it's just fun. It's, it's enjoyable. Life, life becomes, again, an adventure back in, in integrating yourself. Uh, and, and the more integrated you are, the better you are as a person, the better you are as a father, a mother, um, a friend, a worker, a boss. You know, basically everything, and, and it's empowering. It's, it's the way to change the world by changing yourself. And then you can encourage other people to if you take it up as a career. Um, which is, you know, what I've done is that as a naturopath, it's something I love. It's my passion. You know? And you create, you have that attitude of kind of amazement at nature, at your own nature. You never feel like your mind is on top of everything, like with a lot of Western medicine and even Western philosophy, it's about the mind dominating and thinking that we can understand everything. We can understand how the universe was created, you know, supposedly the black, the Big Bang and boom, everything came, you know, out of nothing or whatever. The philosophy, the philosophy is there. Whereas Eastern medicine is more about just a wonderment with humility. It's about feeling humble. It's just, I'm here, there's all these trees around me, there's, there's a forest, there's, there's planets, there's stars, there's, you know, I'm just one part of this. And I want to play my role in it to the best of my ability uh, by being true to myself. And that is the essence of spiritual health, in my opinion, or certainly one aspect of, of spiritual health, being true to your dharma, your life path. Okay, so. We look at all of that with Rainer Naturopathic Massage and with our other forms of healing. Because uh, there's no point in having a healthy body if your mind is unhappy, you know, depressed, angry, sad. I mean, you get fit people who are dying of heart attacks, you get fit people who commit suicide. Um, you know, so physical fitness by itself, first of all, it won't make, doesn't necessarily make you happy. It can add to it by getting the blood circulation and everything, and it's important that we do um, become physically fit to a certain extent. But that will never last as we age, of course. Um, you know, as I get older, I'm turning 51 soon. Um, you know, I notice different aspects of the physical body are, are not as working as well or, or as they have. You know, I can't. Um, I'm not as strong as I used to be, or, or different things like that, you know. And, you know, talking to 80 year olds, uh, it seems to just get worse as you get older, you know. But it's, it's the difference between meeting, like, to me, the spiritual health will last. It'll last through your 80s, through your 90s, till you die and, and beyond. Where's your physical health? You're always fighting a losing battle with, You'll, because you're always going to die. Nobody's lived forever, and even not many, you know, physically strong or physically fit 80-year-olds are even necessarily that attractive unless you look deep in their eyes and you see the beauty in the soul. So to me, um, always we're looking at that basis of spiritual health, of basically of getting back to who we are <clears throat> and finding our purpose in life and being able to love, you know, being able to connect with our heart and love others. I think that's an incredibly important aspect of health, especially spiritual health. Well, we see all the great spiritual teachers from Jesus to Krishna to you know, Muhammad to Buddha, they're basically talking about that love, you know, connecting with our heart. And if we're not connected with our true self, we're not going to be connected with our heart. A lot of philosophies believe that the soul resides in the heart. So, yeah, massage to me is a rain of massage in particular. It goes way beyond just naming Latin names for muscles, which it seems like a lot of people are obsessed with when they're when they're studying massage. And I'm just like, oh, it's kind of a boring aspect of it, if you ask me, because we don't massage dead bodies. No money in it for one. But also, interestingly enough, rigor mortis sets in when the soul leaves the body. The body instantly, not instantly, but over a period of time, very quickly after death. The body just seizes up, becomes very, very tight, rigor mortis. Okay? So, so it's the life force actually that <clears throat> is at the basis of 
fluidity and of keeping us soft and, and loose and being able to move properly and that sort of thing. It's what we call chi in Chinese medicine or ki in Japanese medicine, prana in Ayurveda. It's when you look at the Shaolin monks and you see an 80 year old monk who's um, you know really good at kung fu can hold back like 20 young guys. Or, you know you see this kind of thing from ancient China and stuff because they've cultivated their chi or their life force. And that to me is the essence of good health. Okay, far more so than naming muscles in Latin um, or even just the physical fitness side of health that many people are obsessed with. You know, I got my, you know, people are taking steroids or things, I gotta have big muscles or, you know, they're, they're you know, to compete in the Olympics or to compete in some sporting event, or they think sports winning in a sporting thing is health. Winning of what, you know, to me is like is that your true life purpose, to beat another guy up in a boxing match or to, you know, get that ball across the line in a rugby game and, and beat a couple of people up as you go along, you know? Um, to me, it's, that's not really what health's all about, even. That's just a purely very superficial looking way of looking at health. Um, <clears throat> it's one aspect, it can be one aspect, but if you're too competitive with other people, you're not actually practicing love anyway, sometimes. You can you can be a bit competitive and, and be loving, but a lot of people aren't. A lot of people take it way too seriously with sports and things like that, and they, they get aggressive and, and hate the other person. Or you know, you see it in England with soccer hooligans. Even they're not even the people playing, and they're beating each other up because of team spirit. It's it, to me, it's a spiritual virus actually, that team spirit and that whole thing. So that's not healthy. It's not healthy. That you know, we we really need to actually look at the long term aspect of life, you know, from birth to death, and look at the, the, the aspect of health that's going to grow through life, and that is going to be the spiritual health, that's going to be our ability to love, our ability to, to be at peace, so that you know, when we do die too, we also feel uh, at peace. And that's another reason why I think this is such a great career, because when I look back on my life, even though I'm only 51, I can feel like I've accomplished things, I've helped people. I feel peaceful with what I've done. I haven't exploited people. And, and if I think, if I project forward into the day I'm dying, whether that be, you know, in 30 years, tomorrow, or I manage to live to 110 or 120, unlikely but possible, um, I'm still going to die. And so I think about that day and I think, well, you know, this is a great career, being a naturopath, being a healer, helping people. You know, I can make a living at it, but I'm not exploiting people. I'm giving value for money. And that's, that's so important for me, because then I can feel like my time on this planet was really worthwhile. And it brought joy to myself, and it brought joy to other people. And helped them to overcome, you know, some of these things that are weighing people down. You know, we have so many people. This, this recent thing I'm talking here in, you know, June 2020. And we just had the, the COVID-19 thing and a lot of people in social isolation. And for some people that's become very depressing for them. And you know, the uh, high rates of uh, domestic abuse, high rates of suicide, high rates of mental health problems because people are by themselves or just only with a few people. And uh, that's very sad, you know, it's very sad to see that happen. Uh, people can't just, you know, be happy by themselves or with their loved ones and their family. So, yeah, helping people with that through flower essences, through massage, through whole food nutrition, it's wonderful. It's really fulfilling in your heart because it's an aspect of love. And it's an aspect that nobody can take away from you. You know, if you, with your finances, if you're all about, you know, finances and you want to, you know, oh, I want to be a banker, I want to be a stockbroker purely for the, the purpose of myself and I want to accumulate money, you know, <clears throat> that can always be taken away from you, you know. The stock market crashes and you saw people in 1929 jumping out of windows because um, the stock market crashed, they lost everything. Whereas for me, it's like I could lose all my money but I still have that fulfillment that my career was more than just making money. My career was about helping people and changing people's lives for the better. And how we do that is to get them back in tune with themselves through flowers and says, through massage, through getting them to deep breathe and let go of their emotions, you know, when we're massaging them or even if we're not. And through encouraging people to adopt not just a whole food diet, but a compassionate diet. A compassionate diet to 
the planet, you know, so um, not, not eating so much meat, you know, that, that can be so destructive. Um, on the environment, you know, the global warming associated with it, the destruction of forests, you know, and then of course we've got the killing of the poor animals, you know. If we don't need to kill animals, why should we, you know? Only like to, I personally only would want to kill things in defense, okay, that's my belief about it. If something attacks me, now I have to kill it, if it's, if it's trying to hurt me or my family. If it's not, like a cow or a sheep or a pig or a chicken, they're not attacking me. Just let them be, or a wallaby, or a kangaroo. I, I live on a 17-acre <clears throat> property here with my wife and daughter, and we're making a naturopathic garden and wildlife refuge here. We get so many beautiful animals here, and they're, they're gentle beings, and I would not ever want to hurt them. Okay, so, so that's another reason why we're teaching these whole food nutrition courses, is to allow more forest for animals, allow more native space for native animals in whatever country they are. We need more forests. More forests are going to cool the cool the planet, more trees. So, you know, diet is more than just my own health, you know, or what I'm doing. It's about my impact upon the environment. It's, it's about my impact upon other beings, too. It's about love. I'm trying to do as much of a, a loving attitude as we can. It's not always perfect, you know. There's, there's always things that are, um, you know, you harm things, you know, you can harm vegetables or carrots or whatever. So it's not like, it's not like perfect, but it's, we're doing the best we can on the circumstances of this planet, and that's all we can do is the best we can, and that's what we need to think about. Can we, you know, have a diet that's better for us, better for the environment, better for animals? And, you know, I think also better for our consciousness. I think a lot of things like just cover our consciousness, you know, whether it be alcohol or drugs or, you know, heavy consumption of, of you know, animal products um, or a lot of, uh, you know, what I call dead food, you know, all the processed food and soft drinks and, you know, processed flowers and things like that, which don't really add to your health, they don't add to the dynamic state of, of life. Yeah, so the profits from the course and the company uh, actually go towards our Raider Naturopathic Gardens and Wildlife Refuge. Uh, that's where we're, we're living here, and um, we have 17 acres. And we're partially farming some of it, so creating vegetable gardens so that you know we can demonstrate how to get the best nutrition out of you know freshly grown vegetables. And then we have a few hundred fruit trees, and we're trying to live in harmony then with the natural wildlife that we get here. We get a lot of wallabies, we get koalas, we get echidnas, we get possums, uh, fifty different types of birds, um, all sorts of stuff. Um, that come and visit our property. We live beside a national park as well, King's Conservation Park. And yeah, that's that's where the profits for the company go, most of them, after you know we've been fed and that sort of thing. And it's just a wonderful life to live in harmony with nature these last few months with this COVID thing and, and, and we've been pretty much at home. It, it's been wonderful. It really has but for us. Uh, I feel very sorry for inside for all the other people that are suffering. But for us personally, it's been it's been a wonderful time to reconnect with our own nature and and with uh, with healthy food that we're growing ourselves. It's it's, it's a wonderful thing. And, and as a naturopath, that's something I really embrace is the ultimate in nutrition. You know, a lot of people love to in the big cities they're going to the big you know the health food shops and all that. But when you have your own property, it's it's kind of the the ultimate health food shop once you figure out how to grow stuff. You know, because you're picking it fresh, you're getting all the bioflavonoids, everything else. And it's something I've, I've been passionate about too, is the people buying up properties in, in countries like Australia or Canada that they're going to misuse or they're going to use for grazing or something and, and grow trees. And, and some of those trees can be fruit growing trees or nut growing trees. You know, here we grow macadamia nuts and we grow lemon myrtle trees, which are um, a beautiful essential oil. Uh, and so it's kind of, we try to integrate our business with our beliefs basically and integrate the profit margin of, of our business in order to, to make that money go toward restoring nature and enhancing nature, in fact. Um, so by you know, bringing in different permaculture farming techniques and you know, bringing in wood chips and, and, and that sort of thing to, to help um, make, rejuvenate this land that was going to be turned into uh, you know, eight different Eight different suburban blocks, basically, 
Um, you know, I encourage people to buy up all sorts of different properties around the world that are grazing properties or something, and then use permaculture and use natural farming techniques, first of all, for your own health on a mental emotional level, because it's very peaceful being out, out here, of course, with all the birds and animals. I think it's really natural that we, you know, we, we relate with, with other species rather than just humans. And with, you know, in cities, it's basically humans, cockroaches, and cats and dogs, you know, a few birds sometimes, not many, um, maybe a few mice or something, rats. But here we've got so much different variety of animals and personalities, and it's it's wonderful, and it's just nice to help out, you know, be part of the be part of the greater community, not just a community of people, but a community of animals and of trees and plants and everything. And and to me, that's just the, the wonderment of life. You know, it's it's beautiful watching these plants grow and everything, and it's it's mentally and emotionally healthy, I think, and it makes me amazed at at things like flowers and and you know, like how flower essences develop. I mean, I learned them 30 years ago in my naturopathy course. I was very skeptical at first, and now I'm just in a, in a state of wonderment, basically, at, at nature. Uh, and it just grows. And, 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 you know, flowers are part of that, and trees. And, yeah, it's just wonderful. And, and fruits, you know, it's, uh, I'm a tropical fruit farmer. Um, got guavas going on at the moment. I got dragon fruits coming off of vines and limes and all sorts of stuff growing at the moment, and it's just wonderful. I love it. Um, growing your own food is, is better than any health food shop. So that's also part of naturopathy, and you know I'm going to do more videos about our gardens as we go along. Um, but yeah, that's what I just wanted to cover in this video is you know why would somebody want to learn right now, massage? To help people. Why would somebody want to learn flower senses to help people? Why would somebody want to learn whole food nutrition to help yourself and to help other people? Um, so yeah, we encourage you to take take some of our courses. Um, you know, ask me any questions if you have any. And um, you know, thanks for being a regular viewer or subscriber of our YouTube channel. Uh, we appreciate it. And again, like I said, we earn a little bit of money from it, and it goes back into our our naturopathic gardens here. So. Um, yeah, like us on Facebook too. Uh, we have our school site, Brandon Rainer School of Natural Therapies, and we have our Rainer Naturopathic Gardens and Wildlife uh, Reserve as well. So, you yeah, know, like those Facebook pages. And uh, yeah, as I said, I hope to meet some of you guys one day. Hope to do some treatments on you. Um, I'm going to be traveling a lot more once this COVID thing's finished, or maybe I won't. I don't know. We'll see what happens, but I might. Um, and certainly come to the United States, hopefully, as my, my green card you know, gets all finalized and everything like that. So, uh, yeah, but uh, if you do want me to come and teach a course, just let me know. Uh, do our online course first, and then I'm happy to come in and, and teach in our, what we call our, our professional certificate course. Uh, I'll put a link to that. And our seven day combined certificate courses, where I go into more joint adjustments and things that I don't cover in my uh, online course because I want people to make sure that they do those techniques safely and you know depending upon the laws of the local area of course uh, so yeah thanks again